it's Mona Hair Craft Clutch. For those of you that follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, you probably already know that I bit the bullet and bought myself a Cricut. You can see it right over here. So I'm still learning how to use the Cricut and I've made some fun basic projects and I'm going to expand my horizon a little bit more today and work on some home decor items. I'm amazed at the cool products that are available to be working with the Cricut but also the Silhouette. So these projects will work with either one. So today's video is brought to you by Best Creation and they offer a lot of cardstocks and vinyls. Here are some of their beautiful metallic cardstocks. Look at that. Look how pretty those are. We'll be working with the vinyls today. They're iron-on vinyls and they come in a variety of colors. But these are the ones that I'll be working with today. We have the sky blue silver, silver glitter, sky blue glitter, but they don't just sell the iron on vinyl. They also have um, other stuff. So you should definitely go check them out. I love a whole beach theme. So that is what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be doing like beachy home decor items. Now I know a lot of you have the silhouettes or crickets at home and have been working with them far longer than I have. So if ever you have a suggestion on how to maybe take a shortcut or have a tip on how to do something differently, Feel free to put that in the comments below too. We're all here to learn from each other. The very first thing we're going to do is some artwork. I have a piece of cardstock here and yes I'm going to use the iron on on it. I have this 8x10 frame from the dollar store so this is inexpensive piece of cardstock. Then I have the iron on vinyl. I'm cutting my glitter waves first so I'm going to have the plastic side down on my sticky mat and then I'm going to set the machine to iron on. So you can pull it off your mat when you're finished and then what you want to do is pull off the excess and the outer ring and just leave the waves in place. I use the sky blue vinyl to do the lettering. I cut it out with the mirror image because now when I put it down to iron it on it'll come up go in the right direction. And you might be wondering why we're going to do this on paper. And my thought on that is if you're trying to coordinate some home accessories and you really like the iron on, then you can easily coordinate some artwork still by using the same exact stuff instead of trying to match it up. I'm ironing this on a piece of wood and I have a couple pieces of paper so none of the dirt from the wood will come off onto my clean sheet of paper that's going to be my artwork. And I have placed the stuff on here and it's sticky. And now I'm going to take a clean cloth and put it over here. And my iron has no steam. And I just need to iron it right on. And you have this cool beachy art that's going to coordinate with anything you make. It was very inexpensive. It was a sheet of paper, a dollar store frame and then the vinyl. Now we're going to do a pillow cover and this is kind of a linen and a very natural color and we're going to put glitter on there, the blue glitter. And I cut out a template of the seahorse I want to do and I'm going to have sea life written underneath there. But this allowed me to see if it was the size that I wanted before um, actually cutting the vinyl. Now we just need to put a pillow in it. So here's the second project with the iron eyes. Now let's work on the third. Since we're talking beach crafts, how about a beach bag? Or you can certainly use it just as an occasional work bag, um, a travel bag, or back to school. Now we have this cool bag, the beach is calling and I must go and we have that cool graphic shark on there that I've used before. You can actually put this stuff on mugs and glasses too. So I'm going to do it on a vase also from the dollar store. I printed out a glittery flamingo. You want to be careful when you're doing it. I am going to put a sheet between. Then you can start to peel it and see if it's sticking. And then you have the super cute vase that you can put flowers in. I hope you guys like the projects and be sure to tell me which one is your favorite. We've got the Sun Surf Sand artwork, we have our Sea Life pillow, 
with the glitter, glitter, glitter. We have the Beaches Calling I Must Go Tote. I also put a shell on the back. That one was a pretty complicated design. There was a lot of weeding involved pulling out the little pieces. Greg made fun of me because it says the beach is calling and I must go and I put a shark on there. He thought that was wrong. And last but not least we have our flamingo vase which is some really great home decor. And again this is the iron on stuff and I know that there's sticky vinyl that you can get as well. But I wanted to show you if you wanted to do like the iron on pillow and you wanted to incorporate like the same glitter to keep the same feel like I did it on the paper here. I used it on paper, I used it on glass. Um, the only thing you really need to be worried about is that tote bag if you get it from the dollar store and it's not a full canvas tote bag um, just be careful that you don't melt the bag because I did do that on the pink one but if you have a canvas bag um, you won't have to worry about that either. So be sure to let me know which project was your favorite and thank you so much for being here. And remember, stop over at Best Creation. Check them out. Remember, they don't just have the iron-ons. They have the beautiful cardstocks and other crafting materials as well. So thank you again. Remember, life is too short not to shimmer. So grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.